a little bit of thermal paper. Go ahead and stick that on over here. Possibly slightly high. Let's run into the other side. Do a test fire there now. of the test fire. Pretty good. Could potentially be a little bit lower, uh, but still pretty close to center there. That's your top. That's the bottom. Let's adjust it down slightly. Possibly a little low. Pretty dead center, I'd say. And there's one more test fire. Pretty centered on each other. Oh. Let's see how it compares while we are shooting, doing a test fire in the worst area on the bed so far. There's the test fire. Pretty close as well. Pretty central clustering of the test fires. We'll go ahead and put a fresh paper on just to be safe. There we are. Let's do another test fire over here. There it is. Pretty well centered, nice and circular. Move this across. And let's go ahead and get another test fire over here. Out of here appear to be dead on. Pretty well on there. So alignment seems to be pretty good around this area. We can do one more shot all the way across the table. And that is also dead on. Let's take a look maybe after mirror three. Now, I'm gonna drop the table.
let's see how we look after the lens. We are in the bottom right hand corner. And with the test fire. Nice circular dot. Doesn't appear to be clipping. Let's try it over here now. Test fire. Also pretty circular. Looks like I might have went off the paper a little bit. Let's go ahead and move it in just to get a full circle. And there you have it. Let's go back to the top left corner where it appears that everything is the best. Another beautiful looking test fire. Try the other side now. So this will have hit all four corners. And here's the test fire. Beautiful. All right. So let's go ahead and run this whole setup again and see how it performs with the very, very slight changes. Uh, to alignment, we will see how it does. All right, that is six sheets. They all are pretty well level. We can check level now though, make sure we're okay. Looks like we are pretty well leveled out there. Like I said, these are flat sheets, so assuming the table's level, that should be level. But let's go ahead and do a check of that. This corner of the table appears to be a good 16th inch off, which happens to happen every time I change the Z height. So let's edit that real quick. Almost there. Still a little more. more. All right, there we go. Beautiful. 
battery there for a second. But we are now plugged back in. So, should be good to go here. Stop this thing from moving around so much. So, Z height is perfect over there. Also a little bit low there. And we're also a little bit low here. Gotta love the table. I'm using cardboard shims to get it level again. Good there. Check the middle of the table one more time. We're still off by quite a bit there. Let's try to get that adjusted. To remind you that I adjusted this table just yesterday and had it perfectly level everywhere. ready to run this project. Get it all lined up over there. Looks like we got a little bit of a rock in this guy. Let's just give it a magnet to hold it flat. All lined up back there. Okay. ready to run. Air compressors on. It would be great to pause this program right now. Uh, however, one fun thing I've been finding is that when I try to hit pause, it does absolutely nothing. And the program continues to run despite hitting pause. Another fun quirk. All right, <clears throat> program is done. Let's see how many we actually cut out. In 20 minutes, cutting very thin papery board here that, well, here that none of it cut out. Oh, there's a couple. Top row is working. Looks like the bottom is horrible. It's over there. Let's 
So here we are. Pretty perfectly focused. Yet, let's take a look at these lines. They really look like they are not focused. 